Hey, this is Mike. Before I get started, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I have hundreds of videos that you might find interesting on my channel with different makes and models. So I think it would be useful for you to go ahead and subscribe now and check it out. So anyways, I'm here at East Coast Volkswagen and I'm checking out a 2015 Volkswagen CC 2.0 T. T for turbo. <laughs> so this is a pretty sweet car. And uh, let's, so let's check it out. It's sitting on 17 inch alloy wheels, painted silver. It has four wheel disc brakes. All right, and it's, the color is called pure white exterior, and then it has a multicolor interior. It's got that chrome trim there on the side. Let's go around here and check out the front. Got the LED running lights going on. Has a pretty neat look to it. Bi Xenon projector headlights. That's the Bi Xenon projector headlights and fog lights there at the bottom. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out this side. Like I said, it has a multicolor interior, black with tan, and it has the metallic accents there. It's got a little storage pocket there on the bottom of the door. Power adjustable seats with the power adjustable lumbar support. Got the metallic CC threshold thing there, uh, badge there, and pretty good distance off the floor the seat is and it's like a dental chair you can go up and down side to side forward and back and all that good stuff um, to get just right very good bolstering on the seats they're very comfortable perforated leather seats they look fantastic to me glove compartment is a felt line pretty decent size uh, glove compartment you get a space up in there also it's a it's an air conditioned glove compartment it's that little dial you can uh, turn that dial to turn the air conditioning on and off in there let's take a look at the back seats there's the back door and the back seats man they look good I like the way the uh, the texturing um, I don't know, there's something about the seats that just stand out. I think the two-tone really helps too. And the that the driver's side is all the way back, so you can see about how much leg room you got. And then you've got, you know, this is a normal distance there, which is plenty of leg room for the back seat drivers. They also have your vents back here, plus a, um, a power supply. Now this folds down and you've got this armrest plus you have some pop-out cup holders here if you want to use them and then they kind of push back in like that this lifts up and you've got some storage space in there these seats will fold down in case you need some more cargo area the trunk is the, the trunk is huge but um, sometimes you just, you know, you go to Lowe's or you go to somewhere and you're picking up a box and it just won't quite fit. It's a little bit too long. Really handy to be able to open up the, the you know, fold down the back seats. So this right here, the fuel door, let's go ahead and open that up. It is a locking fuel door. And let me show you where that is. So once you unlock it, you can open it up here, and it does. Um, there's the fuel cap, and once you take the fuel cap off, I'm not going to do it while it's running, but you can take it off, and you can. There's a little stud at the end of it that fits right in this little hole, and that way it's up out of the way and it's secure and it's and it's not going to dangle down and scratch your paint, and it's always secured with this uh, plastic tether. So here's the back of the vehicle. 
and it has the dual exhaust ports there. So to open up the trunk, this thing, you just push that and it opens it right up. It's pretty cool. You can also lower the seats, unlatch them with these switch, these uh, levers here. See, you've got plenty of room in the trunk. You got a storage pocket there. This lifts up, and you got a spare tire. And then your tools are under there. And this is a full-size spare tire. It's not a donut or anything. It's a full-size, same width and everything as the tire that's on it. So that's really handy to have, especially on a long trip. You can change your tire and just keep on going. I'm going to put some information in the description of the video, but here's the quick peek at the window sticker if you want to use the pause button and check it out more. Alright, so let's take a look at that 2.0 liter turbocharged engine. So to open up the hood, just under here is a little lever. You just push it up. It's just barely in there. Once you lift it up, it'll stay up by itself. Okay, so this is a four-cylinder engine. You see the fuel filters right there on top. And the turbocharger is actually back there somewhere. It's hidden. It's kind of hidden back there. But you notice it says TSI there on the top of the engine. That stands for Turbocharged Stratified Injection. And so basically, uh, Volkswagen uses a system with a turbocharger and direct injection to get the, the fuel economy really high, but also give you really good uh, performance out of this engine. So turbocharged stratified, you know, like layers. So the, la the two layers are the turbocharger and the in direct injection, um, you know, working together to save you gas and to give you some high, high performance in the engine okay so let's take a look on the inside a little bit more all right here we are on the inside really neat metallic like a stainless steel look accent around the vehicle that really pops out with the tan it kind of is a good separator between the tan and the black so let's go ahead and start over here on the driver's side door. You have the power windows here, which you can lock out the power windows if you want to with that button. And then your side mirror controls are here. You just have to pick a side and then use it as like a little joystick. Your door lock controls are there. So down here, I showed you where the fuel door is to open up the fuel door. Also the trunk. Now that little keyhole there, you can lock it out to where even um, you know lock out the trunk so the trunk cannot be open even with that switch that's good for uh, like say a valet driver or something like that you can put your va your valuables in the trunk lock it with that thing and then that way the, the valet driver can't go rummaging through your stuff or whatever so we've got a storage pocket here and it's felt lined on the inside there's your headlight controls here's the dimmer for your interior gauge lights now the headlights, uh, there's like an automatic setting there, and then your headlights, you can turn them on. And for the fog lights, you just pull this out to turn those on. So here's the steering wheel. It is a leather wrap steering wheel, smooth with no texture um, on the, on the, uh, the leather. And then you have the black stitching on the inside. You do have some texturing here in the center. And it has, has some button configurations here. This side is for your volume for your radio up and down. Change through your presets on your radio. And then this button, the phone, you can see the phone and then this, these two buttons here correlate with the phone system. And to answer a call, you push that button. And to make a call with your voice recognition system, uh, you push that. And that will activate the microphone. You can say, hey, uh, call. Um, John Smith or whoever happens to be in your phone book. You just have to say it like it's spelled in your phone book 
and you can you know send and receive calls there that's a really good convenience feature but I think it's a really good safety feature because it keeps your hands on the wheel eyes on the road and you're staying productive uh, you're not fumbling around trying to find your phone when it's ringing stuff like that it's a very very good safety feature so here on the right of the steering wheel uh, these buttons correspond with uh, this screen between the gauges um, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of cycle through so you can see right now it's on the digital speedometer. I can go to the right, it shows me what radio is doing. Uh, navigation, in other words, this is a, um, a compass. The vehicle is facing directly east. And your phone, you can see what's you know going on with your phone, like, like who's calling or something will pop up there. Uh, this is like your, um, if there's anything that you need to turn on and off as far as uh, parking assistance stuff like that here's your vehicle status um, it's showing you actually your tire pressure on each tire and it, of course you don't have to go into any of these all the time you can only like if you have a problem with your tire pressure being low it's going to alert you anyway you don't have to go in there and check it all the time and there's your settings there and then back to your visual speedometer and the gauges are really easy to read. I mean, this look at that, 180 miles an hour. That's what that speedometer goes up to. And uh, you got your fuel gauge there in the center of that, and then your RPMs there to the left with the temperature gauge in the center of that. And it gives you actual numbers on your temperature gauge too, which is pretty cool. You can reset your odometer on this side, and then this is for adjusting your clock. Now your cruise control is a little bit hidden back here and uh, the way you operate it is this is the off position all the way out you pull it in and now it's on um, to set it you push this button in to cancel it you just barely bump it out if you go too far it turns it off so this is just to cancel if you want to resume your speed you pull it in so it takes a little getting used to but um, you know it's fairly easy to use once you get get the hang of it turn signal is here and um, you know dimming your headlights windshield wipers are controlled that side so let me go ahead and show you the key it's a pretty interesting key here um, I'm going to take that out it's actually stored in there so this is what the key looks like it does have the you know the power door locks remote so you can lock and unlock the car but basically you take the key and you put it in here like that and then you push it to start the vehicle you do have to put your foot on the brake and then push the butt push it in like that and it starts it pushing it again will release the key and turn off the engine and then so the the actual key stays in there and it acts like a button like a push button start so you're not going to lose your key it's going to stay right there it's pretty interesting so you have an analog clock up here front and center and just below that you have your your radio um, so the radio is going you know, have a volume here, tune through the stations here, and then you have a back button, there's your auxiliary input, and you'll notice it is a touch screen, uh, but you do have these buttons around the outside. Your CD player is right up here. So put, right now we're in the band, um, so you can change uh, AM, FM, satellite radio, that kind of stuff. Media, that's where you would play music through, uh, say your Bluetooth cell phone or um, there's a way to hook up an iPod to this thing, or an iPhone, which is pretty cool. Also your auxiliary input, that would be part of your media input. And also your CD player. There's lots of different ways of playing music through the system. So here's your phone. Once you pair your phone, you'll have access to more stuff. Right now it's just telling you to pair it. Uh, actually be able to send and receive calls, you have access to your phone book and all that. Navigation button, this shows you, um, this shows your your view of your map and you can of course you can put in a specific address and it'll take you there just like any other navigation systems and right here like say um, you know you can have a address is saved you can go to a specific destination or you can save your home address that's with little house there in there and any anywhere you are in the United States you just push the home button and it'll take you back home and then you can always go back to the map button if you want now these buttons down here just correlate with these two main options. So like when we're back here, 
um, instead of pushing the actual screen I can just push that button and it chooses that as well so um, you could mute a call or music or a call right there and then you have setup uh, this is you know changing your day and night settings and uh, different things like that your root options for your navigation all that good stuff Alright, so down here is your climate control. Your four-way flashers are here, your emergency flashers. And you have the heated seat controls there and there. And then your temperature on both sides. It has a dual zone temperature. You can sync both of them. Right now they're synced. But all you have to do to unsync them is just tur start turning the passenger side. And it will change the temperature there. And, um, and it will you know, unsync it. So your temperatures are there, your fan speed's in the middle, and then where you want the air to blow is the, across there at the top. This thing opens up, and then you've got a little storage pocket there with a 12 volt power supply. This has electric parking brake, and it's right here. And you can engage it by pulling it up and release it by pushing it down. This button is for your traction control. You can turn that off if you want to. It's always on unless you turn it off. Uh, the only time you really want to, would want to turn it off is if you're stuck and you need to, you know, spin tires or something like that. So here's your shifter. I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse so we can see the backup camera pop up here. And you can see it has some yellow lines there, and those kind of are guidelines showing you your width, approximate width of your vehicle. And as you turn the steering wheel, you'll notice they will change the direction, and it will give you an estimated trajectory as you're backing up. Also, it has this red line there, and like literally, that's like gonna hit your car if you go any further than that. And in this pic actual the car, uh, some cars are a little bit different, but this one actually, you know, you could tell how close it is uh, because of the distortion of the wide angle lens back there. Uh, the, you know, that kind of helps the guidelines kind of help, you know, make sense of the distortion. So, I'm the way this looks, it's very obvious that it's very close to your car. But, um, but some of them are not. So continuing down with the shifter, there's neutral. Now there's drive. That's the normal drive position. You drive around like that, and um, you know that's just the normal drive position. If you ever need to change um, gears yourself, you can always slide it to the right, and you can bump it like a ratchet shifter and change cycle through the gears, uh, like a manual transmission. Also, if you want to have uh, go really like fast to get, get the full horsepower of the engine the full uh, performance you put it down in sport mode and sport mode will just tell the car that you want the highest performance you don't really care about gas mileage right now okay so here's some cup holders here and you have these little storage pockets and the cup holders have these things that push in and out to allow for different size cups plus a little center place there I'm not sure what that's for maybe a water bottle or something really small cup I guess so here's the armrest center console um, this right here lifts up and you will find a felt lined storage area as well as this little plug-in thing for your iPod so you can plug in an iPod or um, like a, a little bit older iPhone or something like that so up here is your auto dim rear view mirror and it has little sensors there to auto dim the, the mirror at nighttime so light headlights don't you know bother you as much. Up here we have quick access reading lights, tap lights here. You could turn all the lights on in the vehicle with this button, and then you put it in a center position when it's flat to where when the door opens it'll turn on the lights. Or if you do not want it that, that to happen, you can just turn it off to where even with the doors open, the lights will not turn on. So that's that. These actually will call somebody, so I'm not going to push those buttons. They have like an emergency SOS, uh, roadside assistance there, and then like general information. So when you push those buttons, it's going to call different operator type people that can assist you. There's a place to put your cell phone, I mean your, um, your sunglasses in there. It looks kind of small, so I guess you know, you're not going to have like big Hollywood sunglasses, but you can put some glasses in there. The visors have mirrors and lights. A little light turns on when you open up this, which is pretty cool. All 
Alright, so let's take a look at the visibility behind the vehicle. It's back there. Headrest getting away a little bit. But it's a good thing it's got a backup camera. That really helps out. Really nice color combination in this car. And, and the way the seats, uh, the stitching and the, um, the contours in the seats are really neat. I'm really impressed with this car. So what do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you have any experience with one of these cars? Have you ever driven one? Have you ever test driven one? Maybe you drive one every day. Um, maybe you can give us your experience in the, in the comment section. That would really help me out and other people watching this video. So I appreciate you watching and thank you to East Coast Volkswagen for allowing me to show off this car and I'm going to leave John, my friend here, his contact information in the description of this video. He can actually deliver these cars to you anywhere in the United States, right? Straight to your house. So I'm going to leave his contact information in the description if you're interested and thank you for watching and thank you to East Coast Honda for, I mean, the East Coast Volkswagen. They also have a Honda store right next door um, and John, you can call him for the Hondas as well. But thank you to East Coast for allowing me to show off this awesome car, and I'll see you next time.